It looks good outside, mostly cloudy, 80 degrees to this point. We've avoided any precipitation. Sit back, relax, enjoy one of the more picturesque settings in all of college football. You can bet Bob Ross would love to paint a happy little cloud here tonight. BYU's won the toss. They will defer. It's going to be Utah State. We're underway. And he gets the start for Utah State tonight. Designed run for Lagan, first down off the left side. And Lewis Hall selling this offense in. Off the left side, space for Calvin Tyler. So in BYU territory, Lagan looks the throw, pulled it down, chased immediately in a nice open field tackle. Third and long, trips, bottom of your screen. Lagarde time, winds up and throws, and a good completion. The dog puts it on him, moving the chains again. Vaughn up the middle. Tell you what, not necessarily talented. It's showing up right here. Play just off with one second on the play clock, and it's Tyler again. He Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense, the forward may remain it in. So that's on Tyler Batty, who was back from injury a week ago, and you see him push his head down there. Right now, early in the game. What an opportunity for Utah State. Laga, time, rolls out, keeps his eyes in the end zone, throws it, nearly intercepted. Back eight interceptions on the year. Designed run for Laga. Gets a block to the left side, into the end zone. And what about Utah State? The Aggies go right down the field. Too much, but let him use his athleticism. You couldn't ask for a better start if you're Utah State. So Hobbs Nyberg going to return to kick deep in his own end zone. Has spot to the right. He's going to take it just shy of the 35-yard line. And Gunnar Romney back. Wouldn't be surprised if they got him involved right away. Hall time. Taking a shot. That's Gunnar. Welcome back, Gunnar Romney. They've got good depth. Andre Grayson in now for Utah State. Quick throw. That's Keanu Hill. Keanu Hill space. What an answer by the Cougars. Touchdown, BYU. Two plays, net for 31 yards. Jaron Hall and the Cougars answer right back. If we want to get this on the right track. First and 15. That's Calvin Tyler going nowhere. The call, he could be out of this football game. All for not now, third and long. Lagarde's going to get intercepted, picked off. It's Tooley. Max Tooley to the end zone. BYU touchdown. First and 25. Robert Briggs in the ball game. It's a play fake to him. He's going to take a shot deep. And they all day long. Briggs showing some quicks. Remember, Calvin Tyler gets it off. Designed run for Lagat. He's able to get out of it, and that is wise football. Down to two. Playoff. Lagat looks deep. Can't get it. BYU's defense grabs it. Steven Cotton lead a punt for the Aggies. Hobbs Nyberg, the nice kick return, is going to fair catch that. Watch him come off the football and get around the corner. So Hall again out of the pocket, and it's going to be incomplete, 40. Rico's got space at the 45. Get to block. Across the 50, that's Cooper Jones. Schools Thule out on this play. The gift to Briggs off the left side. Again, Briggs space. He's getting to that second level of the... Kind of some drama at the snap, but I don't think Cooper got it. For the yardage there. I don't know if the snap was really the problem. And they got BYU to move on fourth and inches. Briggs has been busy, and rightfully so. Another impressive game. Alvin Tyler back in the game for the first time since his injury. Third and two. Lagai going to keep it, and he's going to get the first down for the Aggies. Thule also back in the game. And they said... Ruling on the field, the runner was down, part of the fumble. The 12-yard line, and they were going to have first and 10 at the 12. Yeah, you're going to see Harper right here, the right hand, just hit the football. Yet to run the ball, Lapini Katoa put the ball on the turf, and Utah State had a defender right on it, but did BYU get it back? 
create so much penetration and mess it all up. Time for Hall and a big hit. What a stop by the Aggies defense. Rico again out of his own end zone. Pressure by Utah State. And a nice return for the Aggies. Cooper Jones in right now's quarter. And then it's up for grabs. Lagaga to keep it coming off the fumble. And how about that for confidence in your principles? And Tyler met at the line of scrimmage. What a great defensive play. These are the kind of things that can happen. So Lagata throw to the end zone, incomplete. And how about Connor Coles? The second half. Ball spotted on the 17. First down throw for Hall, quickly releases. That's Cody Epps. On. That's just the ninth play of the game for BYU. Here we are, nine minutes in the second quarter. Hall looking to take a shot, and he's brought down. And they're going to give it to Christopher Brooks off the left side. Aggies are having none of it. Right. We're here for the full 60 minutes. The return set up for Cooper Jones. He's going to trot out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And Tyler brought down in the backfield, Micah Harper. Quarterback making his first start, that's what you like to see. Third and three after they give him a gain of six. What a great, patient job by Tyler to And Justin McGriff can win the one-on-ones when they get him. There's Tyler off the left side. You had mentioned the space. There goes Calvin Tyler. Three for Tyler. Here comes the tempo. Already snapped. BYU players still on the field. The guy going to take a shot to the end zone. It is caught, and that's a touchdown for Cobbs. However, flag on the play. Uh, Game. Here's the call. Substitution. Twelve on the field. Defense. They get his team going. Empty backfield now for Hall. Going to throw on first down. It's complete. And a gain of five. That's Braden. First positive gain on a rush tonight for BYU. Third and two. Hall out of the pocket. Quick throw. First down. That's what everybody is pulling for here at this deep wide receiver court. Hall again with time. Looking to go downfield. Caught. What a great individual effort again by Cosper. Three plays. How about Cosper? BYU quickly in Utah State territory. To the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, BYU. No, they ruled it incomplete. Sorry. So five yards back, Hall looking to run, and Utah State's defense continues to wreak havoc on Jaron Hall. Jake Oldroyd on. Right down the middle. Strike. Goes the distance in order to make the tackle after the catch to prevent the first down. Lega forced out of the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, has a receiver open, and another great play by Cooper Lega. That's it. The punt. Punts that into the end zone. We're just going to sit on it. The Cougars will receive the second half kickoff. And Lewis, that was an entertaining first half of football. He could go against Wyoming. That's Davis again. This is what he did. Big play for Davis and Lewis. Clear space. Track star at Las Vegas high. Showing the speed there. Hall quick throw wide open player. Keanu Hill who got the touchdown early. And Hill a nice gain on first down. And already Davis is that big of an impact player. Why not give him carries and start him in the first half either here nor there. He's got the ball now and he's running with a full head of steam. And, again, and you see him here. You see Hunter Reynolds number 27. He's not really trying to square him up. He's just trying to get him on the ground. Quick play there from Jaron Hall. Cody Epps made a man. Play fake to the end zone. Up. Caught. And a touchdown right out of the gate for BYU. Ethan Erickson. How's that for coming out of the locker room? Nice first half. He and the Aggies will get the ball after a surprise onside kick for BYU, and that did not work in any way, shape, or kick. But Briggs came in and had a nice first half as well. 
Legoff pulls it, has a shot, takes a man downfield. There's Justin McGriff. He's been playing well in this offense in his first start, and that is not going to go well. John Nelson untouched. Utah State answers with points of their own. Call time over the middle of the field. It is tipped and caught. As far as the run game is concerned. Hall on the play fake. Wide open receiver. That's Cody Epps. And a good job by Jaron. But you have to match them up down the field. They're too good of route runners and runners after the catch. Utah State showing pressure. It's Epps again. Epps makes a man miss and brings it inside the 10. Anyanyu missed the tackle. Eyes on the quarterback. Now you just got to come down here and tackle. You missed the tackle. It's a big game. Here comes the tempo. Why not finish the drive? Cody Epps. Touchdown, BYU. Try to kick out on your edge force guy, set a hard edge, and then come downhill and force it. It did a nice job on the last play, not so good this out. It's Tyler again. You mentioned figuring it out. They don't do it there on first down. Another big play. Legat time swings it out of the backfield. Briggs tries to make a couple man miss to no avail. See ya. Constantly on the punt. And that was a miss hit on the punt. Back to Chris Jackson. We expected to see this speedster tonight. And Jackson hit hard at the sideline. They found a foul targeted. It's defense number six. Yep. The 15 yard penalty will be added to the run. Automatic first down. Has the secondary. He loved the way they play the game. Apps motion to the top of the screen. What a play that was. But there's going to be a flag on the play. That Isaac Raxon. Personal foul. Roughing the passer for the low hit. Defense. Friend Vaughn's. Late hit on Jaron Hill. Paul. Either way, first down BYU. Another big penalty. That's off the left side. There goes Christopher Brooks with space. And so Lewis, yep. That's Hill in motion. They're going to give the ball to Keanu. He's going to throw it. Back to Jaron Hall. And knocked out of bounds at the 15. That was a great job. It's a touchdown. But you see the pursuit. Jaron Hall in the offense looking to punch one in to start the fourth. And that's going to go absolutely nowhere. Intended for Isaac. And he misses. No good. They talked about perhaps a kicking change, but they stuck with him. And right now, they're not getting fooled at all by the quarterback run, especially John Nelson. This isn't to get the quarterback on the ground. Toss sweep to Nai Nai Davis. Look at that defensive play. That was absolute textbook by Gabe Judy Lally. Number 11, the forceful contact with a foul on the helmet. That 15 yard play was a force in the previous part. They're going forward on fourth, down 31 20 to start the fourth. Lega is going to be stopped. The next great quarterback, Jaron Hall, having a nice night. That's Miles Davis off the left side. He's rushing for Davis. Everyone else, one yard. And wouldn't you look at this? Davis moves the chains. And that's Brooks off the left side, weaving his way through. Bunk. That's Brooks again, and they're just going right up the middle on Utah State. You like Suamatai at the right tackle. This is off the left side. That's Christopher Brooks, and that could keep the wagon wheel here in Provo. 18-yard touchdown by the transfer from Cal. And what you saw there, Lewis Riddick, is run to win. They had to step on the gas in the second half again. But they're going to have to switch that. You're absolutely right. Incomplete. Terrell Vaughn needs down with more than 50-50 balls. That's Hobbs Nyberg. 
at his own 20. Good special teams there by the Aggies. They're back. They're going to have to play their very best. Christopher Brooks has been the running back with a little bit of fire under him in the second half. Hunt is playing. Watch him pull and watch him get the seal that really springs this run. You see it right there. That's all you need to do. Get your head on the right side of the block. Jim Staff has talked about numerous times about how Christopher Brooks can be the guy. Three. That's Gunnar Romney on the reception. Hey, nice job by the Aggies. If you're on offense, establish a rhythm quickly, put the ball in the end zone first drive. They have the ability to do that. That's picked off. Could we have a second defensive score from BYU? Ben Bywater. Championship level football play. Offensive and defensive line physicality. There's Brooks, and you're talking about the physicality. I know there's probably a, a portion. Backs to be able to pound people when we need to. And they have to figure out how to stop this perimeter run game that team tapped for Oldroyd. He missed earlier, made earlier. And he missed this one. Just focusing on the things that they've taught him. And look, that process-oriented approach is something I think Nick Saban popularized. And everyone has taken it and run with it because it makes sense. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And a low hit. And it could have been an interception. I'm watching the play down back at the quarterback. Targeting penalties that have been called in this game. I promise you the BYU defenders are very cognizant of that. You see, he's purposely trying to go at thigh level. He's not trying to hit him in the knees. He's trying to hit him right above thigh level. It's, it's tough. It is. Safety a priority right now in all of football, college especially. Should have a holding penalty there. Crowd saw it. Officials didn't throw it. Pretend more involved in the passing game because he is a matchup problem. Again, Lagaz got a receiver. This time he connects. And that's Brian Cobbs for the touchdown. Make it a 10-point game. He's going to throw it. Ops against it. BYU there. Why receivers are getting attention in the NFL, how much they're getting paid. They want their day. And he puts some distance between... You bring him young in Utah State. It's exactly like he's supposed to, man. I can't wait to watch him as we go down the, the rest of the schedule. So up next for Kalani Sataki and BYU, they're going to head to Las Vegas to take on Notre Dame. And a big second half out of Jaron Hall. Keeps the old wagon wheel here in Provo for a third consecutive year. Good fight out of Utah State. They're young, they're inexperienced, they're down players. They gave BYU a run of the first half. Had it tied at 17 all. For Lewis Riddick, I'm Matt Barry and Harry Lyle. Once again, final score, BYU 38, Utah State 26. Coming up next, Sports Center with Scott Van Pelts.